Craig here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply the light box effect to your WordPress websites. Now this is very simple and very straightforward but you know if you've never seen this you might be wondering you know what is it and how can you do it. Now the reason for me creating this video is a friend asked me to take a look at their new website and give them some feedback. Now they had images on most of their pages and whenever I clicked on an image, it would open up the image in a new window. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So this is a test website I have up. It's got some dummy content and some images. And if I click on any of the images, they are linked to the JPEG file or the GFI file. And it opens up like this. So, you know, perhaps I, it's the first time I've been on this website, let's say, and I click on the image and I think, mm, yeah, that looks great. And then I close the tab and I've lost the URL and the website I was just visiting. So I personally do not recommend you do that. And by default, WordPress always links images to the media file. So, so that happens more often than not. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can apply this light box effect. If you're inside your WordPress admin area, go to Plugins, Add New, and just enter in Lightbox. Now there's tons of different plugins you can go and try, but you know what I recommend you do is test a couple of them out. Make sure that they've been updated in the last 100 days, let's say, so that you know that it's not some outdated plugin that you're going to install that may break your website. Now I've already installed two which I want to show you. And the first one we're going to look at is called Lightbox Plus. Now I'm going to click Activate. And we're going to refresh this page again. So now, because I've activated the plugin, any images on this entire website that link to the media file itself will open in a Lightbox. Apart from this, gallery, this tiled gallery. So let's go take a look at this lady on the computer. And there, it opens up in a light box. Now, this plugin, it makes the background somewhat white. And as you can see, it says image one of two. And if we want to click the next, we can go to next. Now, you'll notice down here, the text is somewhat mixed up. But that's because the image is small and it's crunched up. And that's why I recommend you go ahead and test different plugins and see which one you like the best and which one works well. So to close and get out of here, I can click close there, or click anywhere outside of the image and it will close. Now here we have a tiled gallery, and I was gonna cover this in the video, but the video would become too long, so I'll do that in a separate video. But for some reason, this plugin, it doesn't work with this gallery. So if I click there, it still opens up in the default tab. Okay, so the next plugin, is well let me just disable lightbox plus and the next one we're going to activate is called wp lightbox 2 and this one i prefer over the other one so i'm going to hit refresh and now we'll go and take a look at the lady on the computer and this time you'll notice that it's it's darker on the outside of the image which personally i prefer because all my attention goes to the image and that's you know what we want to happen plus if we hover our mouse over here we can go to the next image and if you notice down here it says image 1 of 13 and that's because it's picked up the images from the gallery too so I'm going to hit next and you'll see how this works Okay, so I'm going to click out of there to close. And again, if I was, you know, down here, it's like, oh, look at that dog there. And I click on it. Well, it's going to load up in the light box. That's pretty much it. So all you need to do if you want to apply this is head over to your plugins, add new, and search light box. So just, you know, test them and see which ones you like most and uh, go with it. Now, WP Lightbox 2 does have a few settings that you can go and edit. For one, you can show a download link. So if somebody clicks on an image, you'll have a download link here. 
Now, it seems a bit pointless to me because if I want to download the image, I can just right click the image and click Save Image As. And it does have some other options too where we can set a maximum size of the image to display because, you know, perhaps we have an image which is, you know, 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. Well, that's huge. So we can set a maximum size. Anyway, that's it for this video. Any questions, feel free to post them below. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated. Have a great day.